Good morning, guys. Well, right now it's sunny, but the app showed that it was going to be cloudy today. But the temperatures are still going to be decent. And not supposed to be any rain. So, I'm going to take advantage of it once again. We'll get down to business here in just a minute. Okay, guys. In rain myself this morning, I came in at 183.3. 183.3, another two ounces down. So once again, I'm steadily coming down. It's steady again. That That's strange. That is strange. But nonetheless, it's still a loss. I'm still coming down. So um, I'm going to be taking advantage of today. I decided I'm going to pull out my bike. Now, my bike is only a single speed. Uh... One of these days, I'm going to actually get me a 10-speed or 15-speed. But for the time being, my single speed is fine. <clears throat> There's some places, though, that it'd be a lot nicer to be able to switch gears. But, you know, at least with a single speed, you have to use your legs, right? Anyway, um, I have a vision. I have a vision, and I have a dream. I have a dream that I am slender. I have a vision that I am strong. And more like I have a vision that I'm slender and strong, but I have a dream that I have stenoma and endurance. Thing is, I enjoy doing athletic things more like you know hiking riding um and one of these days i expect that i'm going to be able to jog too i expect that um but it's something that i desire and i'm going to keep aiming for that i'm going to keep working for that i'm going to keep working on that and the more that i do these trails, the more that I walk it and hike it, the more I feel it. So it, it's, and it's so much easier being smaller, so much easier. It was pretty hard and I would push myself. I would push myself to go as much as possible when I was over 200 pounds. But with me being 36 pounds lighter, it is that much easier and I'm getting that much more joy out of it um, and I was noticing the other day when I was on this one particular trail that has a very steep slope and I, I had filmed this trail for you before I had showed it off to you and um, before on it I would have to actually stop and breathe and this wasn't too long ago. This was a couple months ago. I had to stop and breathe after going up the first steep slope. And the other day, I continued on. I didn't even have to stop and breathe. I, I was breathing hard, but I didn't have to stop and take a breath. I was able to continue. And so that's an improvement that that is that's a morale booster that's not just um getting stronger that is a morale booster so to yuns out there who's trying and maybe you're struggling, but you've got a vision. You've got a dream. You see yourself smaller. You see yourself stronger. Keep pushing. Don't quit. Keep going. Um, it's not impossible. I have anemia and hypothyroidism. I take iron and I take thyroid medication but I'm losing weight 
and I am able to walk the trails so much better and easier than I could. And I'm enjoying my hikes even more. So please don't give up. Please don't give up. Some of you might have a very good metabolism and you just always had a problem of eating. But you can do this. You can do this. And if you've got physical conditions, of course consult your doctor. Always consult your doctor. Always. I told mine that I'm going to the trails and he knows the specific park that I told him about. And I told him that I almost hit eight miles and he was, he was pleased and blown away. And he didn't tell me one bit not to. He is very happy for what I'm doing. Very happy. So, guys, just don't quit. Don't give up. If you've got a physical condition, do what you can with that condition. And, and above all else, don't force your body to do something it can't do. Like overeat or over drink fluids or, you know, do what you can physically and make sure to not do what is impossible. Our bodies cannot handle a lot of food. Our bodies cannot handle a lot of fluids. Our bodies need substance in moderation so that it can process what we put into it so that it can tend to other matters it needs tended to. So guys, just don't quit. Don't quit. Please do not quit. I'm on your side. I'm rooting for you and I know you can do it. It doesn't matter if you're doing OMAD, or if you're doing short window intermittent fastings, or if you're on a certain uh, a diet plan, or if you're on just a, a shake plan, or whatever the heck it is. Whatever it is, I don't care. Keep going. If you're losing weight, and you're healthy, and the doctor likes what you're doing, and you're happy, keep at it. Don't quit. If you're not losing weight, tinker around until you find what's, what's effective. Work with your doctor if you need to. Get better ideas from them if you need to. Do what it takes to make you happy so that you can lose the weight, so that you can be healthy, so that your doctor is approving. And I'm not talking about sitting there eating bonbons while watching the soap operas. I'm not talking about that. There's other things to make a person happy. Being saved and having Jesus Christ in our heart is one. Another way, enjoying valuable time with your spouse, with your kids, with your grandkids, with your friends. Another thing might be a special hobby like painting or putting models together or working in a community, being an assistant in, in a soup kitchen or, or looking out for the needy, going around and, and talking to the homeless and providing them things that they need, whatever. But do what it takes to make you happy. Anything that will keep you from just sitting around eating. Anything. To my new subscribers, thank you and welcome. I am so glad you're here. So very glad. You will be seeing me tomorrow with another journey vlog. I love you guys so much. Have a great day.